straight ski wheels. Cover it up a little bit. I see the straights. The straights are just outside the canister. If you're in my WBS uh, sample, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I agree. Just outside the canister. And Alpha Discovery from Houston. If Wills is seeing those uh, marks in the last one, then we believe he's correct. There's a uh, good set of ECF for you, Pambo. I don't know if you can see Okay, that. so we think then there is a half a bay left, right, Wheels? Do you concur with that? I would concur. The, with the stripes coming just out of the bay, I, I concur there's a half a bay left. Okay, all right, and then I need you to just clear yourself from the edge there, and we will get ready for the next half bay. I'm clear. All right, deploy in two, one, mark. Override in the tension bar, that looks good. Hit a plan to board there. Okay. And no deploy. Oh, we've got deploy discrete. Two deploy discrete. Yay! All right. Beautiful. Great news. Beautiful. What an accomplishment. Nice teamwork. Phenomenal. Okay. Excellent work, guys. Excellent. But it's not over yet. We still got to get you inside. That would be nice. Those are the minor details, um, but thank you guys one very much. Here from, just one final report uh, from my perch here. Um, the uh, 3637 uh, panel uh, interface, there is a slight divot there. It's symmetric across the full breadth of the, the wing. Um, I can see more or less uniform load bearing across all uh, four of the uh, the couplings. Mostly, though, it looks like uh, perhaps two and four, uh, maybe taking just a slight bit more uh, straight a path. But uh, no overlap whatsoever on the edges. Houston copies Agreed. all. Thank you very much. We have a few more questions we're working. We'll get those to you shortly. And uh, as long as you guys get ready to work, work your way back, we'll be happy. some tools in my crew lock bag. Okay, I'm gonna do the same. This is Mission Control Houston now five hours and twenty one minutes into today's spacewalk. And uh Scott if you would just give us an inventory of the tools you're putting in so that we okay. can um uh, skip that when we get to ingress. Sounds great. I'm putting in my uh, hockey stick, which has served me well. I think that's been your best friend all day. Yeah, I think, well, well, we you are about wheels and, you know, how about Tyke? <laughs> Can't forget Tyke. You're right. Wheels is your best friend. Your hockey stick is the second best. And I think Robo and uh, Boichi and, and you yeah. and Paolo are close in there, too. That's awesome. We couldn't have done it without everybody, I think. That's a really awesome job. Discovery Houston for EVA and the Big Loop. Yeah, go ahead, Tony. And we have one more thing for Scott to look at. And that's if you could look on the hinges, especially on the damaged area, to verify there are no gaps all along the hinges. Okay. Um, let me give you an, uh, a reference from cufflink number two. Uh, count one, two, three, four, five. Roughly eight um, hinge elements. In is where the hinge returns to uh, its normal function. So what I assume happened is the uh, the hinge uh, uh, loops uh, failed at that point.
point and uh, allowed um, the hinge wire and uh, subsequent damage to separate. But from that point to uh, the outboard edge, uh, it all appears uh, very uniform and tight, just as uh, I found it when I arrived at the worksite. Does that make sense?